Hello guys, this is Caesar Creates and welcome back to my channel! I am back today with a very very special Elm Hill City Zoo episode. As you guys probably seen from the title and the thumbnail of today's video, today we are building a giraffe habitat in the Elm Hill City Zoo. And we are building this habitat to celebrate the amazing achievement, the amazing milestone of 10,000 subscribers here on the channel. I had some hard time deciding what I wanted to do to celebrate the 10,000 subscribers. I knew that I wanted to release some special video uh, and I actually ask you guys what you like to see in the pool here on the com community tab on YouTube and there were four different options for different ideas and the giraffe habitat won like fair and square it had 55% uh, of all the votes uh, so it was quite a lot of votes you guys really wanted to see me build for the giraffe and this is no wonder the giraffe is in my logo the giraffe has always been here uh, like somewhere on the channel I mean in the logo in the intro somewhere because it is simply one of my favorite animals and I got so many questions from you guys why didn't I still build anything for the giraffe when it's in my logo and yes it's finally time to do it because it won in a poll I knew you guys would like to see it so let's do this together today Later in the video, I will of course tell you guys why the giraffe is one of my favorite animals and I also wa want to do sort of like a sum summary uh, of all the things that happened here on the channel from the time we began to the time when I got the 10,000 subscribers. So if you like to uh, hear a bit of, you know, summing up, summary of the channel, definitely stay tuned. Okay, so imagine that I announced this special episode to celebrate this milestone of 10,000 subscribers. Uh, you guys voted, you chose the giraffe and then I felt the pressure. I actually felt the pressure. I was a bit scared to build this because I knew that it has to be special. It has to be a very cool episode. It has to be a very beautiful build to do that because this is simply uh, something that I want to, where I want to show you guys how much I was able to grow and learn uh, during the time of having the channel. So I really want to do, you know, different techniques, build different things, you know, focus on the uh, nature because this is what you guys like about my habitats build some very beautiful shelter and of course do the area around the habitat and I really wanted to create something beautiful and let me just tell you that I didn't have to be so scared because I think this might be my best habitat yet. Yeah, it is really, really beautiful. It works so well and also it looks like a real habitat taken out of the real zoo. I don't know, I was able to do something without this building that looks so, so beautiful in the end and I hope you guys will like it as well. I am very modest person today, I'm just boasting out I'm how great builder I am, but I hope you guys will <laughs> excuse that. Okay, so let's talk briefly about the inspiration behind this habitat. I was researching, researching and researching the habitats for giraffes. Like I looked through the entire internet, I think. I was looking for something that will fit into the Elm Hill City Zoo. So something very like typically city zoo inspired. There are so many habitats like that, but also there are a lot of modern habitats for the uh, on shelters, on houses for the giraffes and some very like African themed and I actually didn't want to go for that. I was thinking about building something more like classical, all older that will really fit into our zoo. And then I remember then some of you, one person here, sorry I don't remember your name, I was having a hard time finding this comment, uh, but you uh, recommended me to to check out the uh, giraffe habitats in the Basel Zoo in Switzerland and I looked it up and it was really really beautiful and something that really fitted into our zoo so I decided to go for that. Uh, in the Basel Zoo uh, this is actually a uh, 
uh, antilopen house or something like that. So it houses giraffes and two different kinds of other animals. I think that this is some kind of antelope and also a nokapi. So there are two, uh, three different habitats around this building. We will have one. Of course, it is my interpretation of this house. I would sort of change it, but the whole idea is totally inspired by the Basel Zoo. So if you haven't been to the zoo, let me know down in the comments if you recognize this building. So yeah, when I had this, I knew that I wanted to build this. Of course, we had to have a Planet Zoo in mind uh, when it comes to all the dimensions of the building and so on, because uh, you know my struggles with the traversable area of the animals. I would love to build smaller things, but unfortunately they won't, wouldn't fit in there, especially the giraffes. Everything needs to be very high and also very wide for them to fit, so uh, yeah, I couldn't go too small I had to go for ridiculously big doors like in the Bustle Zoo you can see that the giraffes need to lean down a bit like their head uh, their neck down to go in the house and this is totally okay in here we cannot do this the animals in the uh, planet zoo they cannot like lean their head down they have to feed in completely uh, so we had to uh, you know pay attention to that as well you guys could actually see that there was a giraffe on the screen a moment ago. This was because I was measuring this main uh, entrance to the building, it, it, if it will be okay for them to fit in there. Uh, so I had to use the giraffe to measure it so I wouldn't have to destroy the building or just rebuild it after I will put the animals inside of this habitat. This habitat and uh, the shelter, the building and the area around it, it is all so large. It takes up a lot of space in our zoo and it was actually a lot, a lot of time needed to build this. I think that I was building this habitat for one and a half week uh, of, you know, evenings uh, because I only play in evenings. Uh, so every, almost every day I was playing for several hours to complete that. The speed build for this video was actually one and a half hours and I was able to cut out so many things from it to make it a little like uh, under 40 minutes uh, there will be also a cinematic shots by the end of this video so uh, the whole video will be probably something about 45 minutes but yeah this was the habitat that I probably spent the most time on from the all habitats that we ever built and in the end I think you can really see that because it is really like detailed and there are different sections there are different things inside there so yeah there's a lot of things that I had to work on because the habitat is so large and the building itself is also huge there's a lot of space in there I decided to mix the giraffes with some other animals so this I call this the giraffe habitat because the giraffe is obviously the main star of this event today uh, but there will be two more animals living with the giraffe and having their own sections inside of the building We'll also add the Thompson's Gazelle and the Nyala and I think that three of those look really really cool inside of this habitat. I was looking for animals that are not as, I don't know, uh, attention drawing or will be just like background uh, for the giraffe that will be the most, you know, prominent, the main star of this habitat. I thought about going for uh, zebras but then I decided that I probably would like to build a separate separate zebra habitat and then I decided to go for the Thompson's gazelle because I really love it I think it looks really cool in the game and they are just so cute and tiny we like a nice comparison of the height between those animals uh, and also I sort of don't see myself building a dedicated habitat for a Thompson's gazelle I don't know if you guys would like to see it this is not an exciting animal like when it comes to YouTube and you know dedicated video for the Thompson's gazelle and also for the Nialas we've already built a habitat in the desert uh, adventure park so why not put it in there and in the end those three look so so cool in this habitat I am not a biggest fan of the mixed habitat in Planet Zoo to be honest and this is because there is just one thing that annoys me a bit I mean when you have animals herding animals like 
antelopes, like zebras, like giraffes and so on, they stick in a herd. They are always together, they are not spread over the entire habitat. And when you have a lot of different species inside the planet zoo habitat, they are just spread over all over the habitat. It looks just not so real realistic. You suddenly have, you know, the warthog, the Thompson's gazelle, the zebra in one corner of the habitat, and then you have, I don't know, five zebras and one antelope in the other corner, and they would, in the natural world, they would just stick together. So that's why I kind of don't like it. It doesn't bother me as much when there's only one species in the habitat, but when we have those mixed habitats. I try to avoid that and I actually wish that they would add some like you know herding mechanism to uh, Planet Zoo that the animals would actually like move in herds it would be so so cool uh, but I don't know if it will be a thing uh, let's see in the future if you guys would like to see what I was going for when it comes to this building I will put the link down in the description so you can go and check it out uh, because maybe you quite don't understand what I am doing in here but I uh, promise you guys that it will make sense in the end just bear with me uh, as you guys can see there's a lot of different pieces you know building it is all piece by piece also the roofs in here will be all uh, piece by piece and um, this is not a you know default roof from the game so yeah this building is really piece heavy I think it's about like 5,000 pieces so it's really a lot because we are celebrating today and I am in a good mood I will actually post this habitat in the steam workshop so you guys can uh, download it yourself and use it in your zoos just a gift from me the blueprint will also include the whole area around the enclosure so you guys wouldn't have to uh, you know decorate it around so I will do make sure that it will you know cover all the foliage and so on so that you will put it in your zoos in one click because this video was so long and because it was so so much work I actually didn't include all the footage of course I cut out a lot of this video when we have a lot of copying over different things I just show you guys the beginning and then the five finished product so uh, keep that in mind there will be a lot of skipping in this video and I actually didn't show you all of building I didn't show you guys the very easy parts like uh, the entrance for the guests inside of this uh, of, the, of this house it was nothing too complicated I'll of course show you guys all of the building in the cinematic shots uh, there will be probably a lot of them this time because we have a lot of angles where I want to show you guys this habitat from uh, so I didn't include that I didn't include for example the viewing taras it was so so easy uh, I skipped all the decorating I you know the habitat around with different foliage different elevations different fences uh, so that will uh, be all in the cinematics by the end and also uh, the tour around the Elm Hill City Zoo uh, the update tour is very very close I think that what we'll do is finish the uh, the uh, wildcat house that I am still working on and then we'll do the tour around the whole zoo I will show you the giraffe habitat I will show you the uh, wildcat house habitat so uh, yeah you will know how the zoo is progressing how it's growing uh, I think that we will uh, soon get a new DLC uh, so this will probably you know mess up our plans a bit because of course I would love to build for the new animals added as soon as I will be able to uh, I have no idea what the new DLC will be uh, many people like uh, suspect that it will be out on the 4th of October because it's the world animal day so it totally makes sense for them to release this DLC on that day but we'll have to wait and see there's still some time there are still some my some of my videos that are coming before that uh, so yeah the interest in Planet Zoo I think is a bit down right now so the new uh, you know DLC is so much needed I think that it will bring so many people back to the game I've seen that the uh, speed builds are not as popular right now 
on the YouTube, not many people are recording speed builds, so I hope you guys will uh, still watch that video. It is still a speed build. I am not a very like into franchise mode right now, as many people are doing it. I am also not a streamer at all. It would be so challenging for me to you know be entertaining and build at the same time on a stream. So uh, I am a speed build guy 100%, and it won't change for my channel probably uh, so this is what you can expect in the future okay guys so as I told you at the beginning of this video today we are celebrating today we are celebrating 10,000 subscribers so once more I would love to thank you for all the support that you give me for all the likes all the comments all the positive feedback on the all the private messages you guys are amazing uh, it is so so cool to be part of such a lovely community uh, I really love you guys you make me a better Better person as I told you already so many times I'm so much more confident because of those videos because of YouTube so thank you thank you thank you and as I told you I'd love to do like a quick summary of all the things that happened uh, during this time from the beginning when I started the channel till the time that I got 10 thousand subscribers so let's start with the number of the videos I uploaded 131 videos I started my channel in November 2020 so almost two years ago and during this time I uploaded 131 videos 96 out of those videos were the Planet Zoo videos of course the Planet Zoo is the main thing here on my channel 63 of those those were from this zoo, the Elm Hill City Zoo, so as you guys can imagine this zoo is quite large already. We have also 24 videos from Jurassic World Evolution 2 and 11 videos from the Prehistoric Kingdom. My most popular video is actually one of the recent ones, it is a Przewalski Horse Habitat and it got uh, almost 60,000 views, so this is just mind-blowing. Uh, on the uh, second place there is uh, the first episode from the Jurassic World Evolution 2 series, our first series, and it has 40,000 views. In general, all my videos uh, here on YouTube got almost like almost 1 million views. So this is just mind blowing to me that so many uh, of of you are watching my video so thank you again for that uh, I will make sure to let you know guys when we'll hit this amazing milestone of 1 million views over the entire channel this is just mind-blowing I know that so many people get 1 million after under one video uh, but for me for a starting youtuber I still think about me as a beginner here on YouTube although I have it uh, for two years but I started with no experience at all in social media and everything so uh, for me it will be just amazing. I also wanted to tell you what were my most liked and my most disliked videos but actually in both of those categories the Przewalski Horus episode wins as well it is the most liked and also the most disliked video here on the channel. I guess it all comes with the number of views. Okay, so that's the end of my quick summary. I hope you guys enjoyed that, a little insight into the channel. Thank you again for uh, allowing me to reach this amazing, amazing, amazing achievement of uh, 10,000 subscribers. Uh, you guys are just the best. And also, I know that it took a while to upload this video celebrating this uh, 10,000 subscribers, but uh, I was a bit busy and also this habitat took so long we are almost on uh, 10,250 by now so it is amazing uh, without you know me uploading you guys still subscribe so thank you for that uh, and yeah I hope you guys will enjoy this habitat and will enjoy using it in your own zoos 
Okay, we will talk more about the giraffes and why I love them so much later, but right now, let me tell you guys all about the things that we've built in this video by now, because I haven't explained anything at all, so let me like update you guys of, on all the things that we did in this video. I was talking a lot today, I am a very talkative person, all of the sudden, sometimes, this is one of those days. So when the video started, you guys could see that I had the entire habitat a bit planned out. I already had some paths, uh, the placing uh, like more or less of the shelter, uh, it was there. Uh, we started by creating the modes. There is one mode on the left side of the habitat, preventing the animals from escaping and also giving the guests a beautiful view inside of the habitat. This was inspired by the Basel Zoo. On the other hand side, we have a water section and there is like the stone wall that is uh, also uh, preventing the animals from escaping they wouldn't be able to you know go to the deep water and jump over this wall no way no one is able to jump out of the water so high and this is another thing inspired by the Basel Zoo uh, when I had this done I went on to creating the shelter and I am still uh, working on this shelter on this big big house still uh, this is a really nice concept this is a concept of a big house where the animals uh, are you know spending their time out and inside of the shelter and the guests are still able to go in and see them this is especially really cool for the animals like giraffes and other ag more exotic animals that maybe don't like snow and so on I am always telling you guys that we are building it the zoo in the temperate biome so probably there are a bit you know colder winters so probably in such conditions animals like this will spend the colder days closed down in their shelter so I knew that I have to make it big it is actually big they have a lot of space inside and also the guests are still able to walk in there and see them the whole uh, habitat I mean the whole shelter is kept in this more classical style style of architecture uh, you know it all it looks a bit older I am always repeating myself that the Elm Hill City Zoo is a combination of the modern and um, more newer arch architecture and those older buildings and this is um, for sure one of those older ones so to make it feel more like classical, more older, I used a lot of trims, a lot of limestone pieces, a lot of, you know, different like those sculptures and stuff. And in the end, I really love this shelter. It was quite challenging. And first when I saw the picture, I was like, okay, it is very doable in Planet Zoo. But then when I saw all the angles that, the, uh, that this, uh, it has a very like not typical shape, like very interesting interesting shape there's a lot of you know circular things there's a lot of roundness in there so uh, those are the things that are not too easy to you know emulate in planet zoo sometimes you have to you know push yourself a bit to build something like this this is not maybe like entirely 100 percent uh you know super straight and super symmetrical in all the places but i was doing my best and in the end as i told you guys i am a big fan of this building. Right now, as you guys can see, I am doing those small holding pens. This is also inspired by the Basel Zoo and their building. Uh, so those are those small like pens that the animals can be closed down. It is of course made for the smaller antelopes. Uh, so there are a lot of them that are surrounding all this round uh, part of the building. It looks so, so cool. This is the fence that I actually created for the Przewalski horse and I decided to use it here once again. Uh, so you couldn't see me uh, creating that. You will be able to see me create the gate and opening that gate for the animals to be able to go in and out. Also, I use the doors inside the, um, the indoor part, inside the shelter. Uh, they are also from the... Uh, Przewalski horse habitats if you wondered. 
I think that there were two, like, my biggest struggles about this build. It, there's was the, all the foliage and all the things around the habitat because it is such a huge part of our zoo and I wanted to make it look good around. So I used, so I spent so much time, you know, adding different plants around it, adding fences and so on. It really, really took a lot of time. Uh, also, uh, the foliage inside the habitat actually took a lot of time because it is so, so huge that I had to, you know, do a lot of those smaller plants and smaller rocks. So it took a lot of time as well. And also I will skip that part because uh, this was like probably the longest of all the video. But besides the foliage and the thing that I thought was the most difficult out of this entire build was the interior of this building. I am not the best when it comes to interiors, you guys probably know it by now. I like uh, creating the shelters for the animals, I mean the typical stables or something. And this is what I like to build, but the interiors when it comes to, you know, uh, the guests using them, the, you know, benches, the different stuff for the guests, I don't know. I see so many people creating like crazy stuff for the interiors, like really super realistic. And for me, it's always the last thing that I do in every habitat. So, uh, you know, I finish everything. I go to this, the, the interior to, to create that. And then for me, it's like, okay, let's do it quickly to make it, you know, to finish the entire habitat. So uh, this time I actually tried to, you know, push myself a bit. I was inspired, of course, by the real building. I wanted to create some really nice shapes. You will see that like really classical, uh, you know, uh, those trims and so on. But still like the floor the walls and so on is really are really plain uh, but I hope you guys will still like it as well I mean some of those houses in zoos they are not actually crazy like decorated or themed so I was going for something like that more right now I showed you guys how I did the curbs and the small barrier around the entire habitat I just showed you the very like a minute of doing it and it was actually so so much of work to surround the whole habitat with the curbs got custom curbs and the barriers and then I will show you like a sneak peek of how I did the foliage around uh, so guys have an idea when you will see the habitats in the cinematic shots how I actually did it after that I will move on to the very cool place where the guests can go into like this circular like small little plaza I don't really know how to call it they can go there to look uh, to have a really beautiful uh, view inside of this habitat and it's all surrounded by trees and foliage so it looks so good so uh, I need to have to do like a circular barrier around it for the gas and of course I use this technique of rotating things a lot of times uh, so in the end it looks really really beautiful and after that, I will simply move on to do the habitat. I mean, the foliage and all the rocks, the details in the outdoor part of the habitat. And of, as I told you guys, it was actually a lot of work. I cheated a bit this time because, uh, you know, I created those groups. I mean, uh, a lot of rocks and foliage together. Uh, and I made it into one group and I copied it over in different angles. So you really like don't see that they're copied over there are like three or four like different kinds of those groups uh, and i combine them together and in the end you i don't think you can really tell that they are the same ones so uh, i did like a cool job in here it was definitely making my life easier this time of course i also added some trees and i had to build some custom tree guards like tree protections uh, to prevent the giraffes from eating the bark and eating the branches of the trees so I created those very high guards and they look so so nice uh, so yeah this was actually it I also of course added the enrichment items the feeders and I also did the modes I didn't show you guys it but I added a lot of plants inside of the modes to make it look a bit more overgrown and also I added a lot of decals uh, on the mode and on the like uh, wall near the water so it looks a bit dirty it looks you know a bit worn out and so on and also I added a lot of decals on 
the floor of the entire habitat to make it look a bit like a dirt or something and yeah in the end I really like it but it was so so much work uh, and after that I had even more work we had because I had to do the interior and you will see that in a second but firstly let's talk about the giraffes and why I love them so much why I decided to make it my logo there was something about the giraffes that always like drowned me to them I think that they are such a majestic animal and I really love their colors there is something about this color of the uh, giraffe pattern that I really like this is one of my favorite colors so uh, giraffe is such a weird looking large animal but it looks it is large it is a bit clumsy but also majestic I don't know there is something about it that really really speaks to me and uh, every time I see a giraffe it always like makes a huge impact for me I always love to you know uh, observe them I always love to see them in zoos and my dream is to go actually to Africa to observe the animals in their natural habitats to see the giraffe in their natural in its natural habitat this will be a dream come true to me and uh, yeah I was wondering what to do for my logo I was going through the different animals in uh, planet zoo and then I went and I just saw the giraffe in Zoopedia and I was you know right away this is it. I want the giraffe to represent me. I am also like a bit maybe a shy person like I am not as you know open and so I'm just like a giraffe. They are also like holding their distance uh, but also they appear to be very like majestic but inside they are really clumsy just as I am. I love the uh, there's a video online maybe you saw it uh, with the giraffes that are released to the wild from some a truck or from some you know vehicle and they are all just you know tripping over and falling down from this truck like one after another and it's so so funny and that this would be me this would be totally me I would be so excited that I am released to the wild while that I will just trip over and fall and that will be end the end so yeah that is why I decided to choose a giraffe as my logo and also I think it is a perfect time to show you to give you guys some fun facts about the giraffe in the game we actually have the reticulated giraffe and to be honest I would also like to have more of those because there is for, for example a beautiful Maasai giraffe the largest of them all and I think that uh, uh, I wouldn't be mad if Planet Zoo added them as well Reticulated giraffes can be found across the northern and northern eastern Kenya and small restricted populations mo are most likely to persist in southern Somalia and in southern Ethiopia. They inhibit open woodlands and dry savannas with trees, especially various species of acacia trees. Because of their height, the giraffes do not have to compete for food like other animals. The giraffe's legs are longer than an average man is, it, they are more than 6 foot, and their front legs are longer than their back legs. They have strong flexible uh, tongue that allows them to gasp and strip leaves from the thorny branches. To keep the blood flowing, giraffes need a big heart. Their heart weighs around 11 kilos and has large blood vessels. Giraffes have excellent eyesight, allowing them to see movement up to a mile away and a keen sense of hearing that uh, help them to be safe from predators. Their spotted coat pattern helps to camouflage them in the dry savanna and they can run up to 35 miles which is 56 kilometers per hour for short distances and they can deliver a strong kick to discourage predators. They live in loose open herds of a few animals, up to 40 animals. A herd may consist entirely of females with or without calves, mixed sexes or all males. Females are more, more social than males. Males are not territorial, but individuals might spar one another to establish a dominance. 
And of course, every giraffe has a unique pattern of spots, much like a human fingerprint. So that was all that I wanted to tell you guys about the giraffes. They are truly amazing animals, so, so beautiful. And I am so happy that we finally have them in our Elm Hill City Zoo and that their habitat is so amazing. This will be probably the, one of the biggest attractions of the zoo. So I cannot wait to do this tour and I cannot wait to show you guys the finished habitat and the entire area. If you are wondering, we are building this habitat next to the Nile Letchway and quite like near to the Scimitar Horned Oryx that we've built uh, recently. And this is in our African area of the zoo that will be expanding in the future. I of course want to add more African animals, more ungulates like zebras, like wildebeest and so on, but also some carnivores uh, like uh, for example the wild dogs, the hyenas and so on. So yeah, quite a lot of work before uh, in front of us. I am having a bit of issues as I told you guys with the Elm Hill City Zoo because of the performance. The zoo is large and my computer isn't the best <laughs> to be honest and I am saving my money like very like <laughs> slowly and I would like to buy myself a new computer soon so uh, hopefully we'll be able to make more beautiful uh, cinematic shots because right now building isn't an issue at all in the zoo I can still build without lags without you know any problems but when it comes to the cinematic shots sometimes the animals are just lagging so it looks a bit you know not the best but we have to live with that uh, uh, because I still want to build in the zoo I still want to expand it so uh, if you would like to you know record more of those we have to live with the animals that are not entirely smooth Right now, as you guys can see, I am building an interior of the uh, shelter of the house, of the giraffe house, as I am calling it. Although there are more animals living in there, but uh, this is dedicated to the giraffes, so I called it a giraffe house. Uh, so it is a really cool building inside. Uh, I made those like sculptural things on the uh, walls and so on. Those are meant to be wooden. Uh, in the original building, they are you know uh, carved out in the woods i mean all those shapes and this decorative pieces but uh, we don't have them in planet zoo we have like those pieces from the limestone so i was actually able to you know find the perfect color that looks a bit like wood so we can kind of fake it uh, and then I you know lined and the entire building inside with some woods to make those stalls for the animals a bit more interesting and also we will be doing the barriers I mean the fences inside uh, like between the stalls and between the guests and the animals and we'll be doing a custom feeder for the giraffe uh, in a second so I hope you guys will like it I am in love with this building I think it is my like maybe a favorite building right now in the Elm Hill City Zoo. I also love the Wetlands House, but this has something, it looks like a typical zoo uh, building. And I am so, so grateful to the person who uh, recommended the Basel Zoo to check it out because this zoo is really inspiring. I've never been there. Uh, when I'll be in Switzerland, in Basel, I will for sure go there because I would like to see even this building in in person because I think it is so so beautiful. I also wanted to tell you guys a bit more about the future of the channel. Uh, as you guys probably seen, I was a bit more absent recently. Uh, I had a lot of work actually. I also uh, did some free days. I was, as I told you guys many times, uh, I was away for some time. I was resting from my computer and from sitting at home, uh, preparing for the fall season. And now it started, it is so cold in here in my country. Uh, so you can expect many new videos right now. I have plans to, you know, uh, build a lot of in Jurassic World Evolution 2. We have a new DLC coming out. Uh, I think that when I will release this video, this DLC will be out. So probably I will upload some videos from the Jurassic World Evolution 2 in the future. And also, of course, we will be continuing our work in Planet Zoo. 
uh, I want to build a habitat in the desert adventure park right now and then we will go back to building a, a wildcat house and also probably soon we'll have a new uh, DLC so we'll build for those animals from this DLC and also as I teased you guys a bit I have a very very big project coming out really soon so I hope you guys will like it as well I'm not revealing anything this is all a big secret so I hope you guys will be excited for that Sorry if I sound a bit different in this video, I have a hard time talking to you guys for so long uh, because I have terrible allergies, I have a very like dry cough. I am allergic to fungi, to small mushrooms or something like this, I don't know, I apparently this is, there's a lot of this mushroom pollen right now in my country. Uh, I think it's called something like cladosporium or something like that and I am really allergic to it. I always cough during the beginning of the fall and I have some running nose and my doctor says that it's probably it. So yeah, living with allergies. If you have them, you probably know what I am talking about. Okay guys, this is all that I have for you today in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you like this habitat because it was so, so much work and I personally love it. So I hope you guys are sharing my compassion for this build. If you did, please consider to subscribe to my channel. This will help me reach even more milestones in the future. So I will be very, very grateful. If you like this video, please consider to give it a big thumbs up down below. Ring the bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video and of course comment down below if you liked today's video and what were your favorite parts what you liked the most about it and if you are excited for me building finally for the giraffe thank you guys so much for watching have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one bye guys